Hey, investor and tell readers, I'm here today with George Glacier, founder, CEO, president, director of Western Uranium. So George, there's a new found spark of optimism in the uranium market. What are your thoughts on this? Well, again, you know, I think the announcement by Cameco that they're going to, you know, cut production next year, I've closed one mine, certainly can't be bad. Now, whether that relates to higher prices in the near term, uh, eventually the supply is going to come into balance and, and the more production that's cut or withdrawn from the market, the sooner the price will come into balance uh, or increase so that production levels can be justified. Right on. And you guys also have recently re-dived back into the vanadium market. Can you comment on that and share a little bit of like what direction you're going in? Of course, your vanadium prices have recovered fairly significantly in the last year. And so we're at a level now where the vanadium in our properties, some of these mines actually exceeds the value of the uranium. So in the past, vanadium has been a secondary product, but it's almost now the primary product for production out of these mines. Cool. And I know the last time you were here, we were talking briefly about your appellation technology. Did I say that correctly? Ab ablation. Ablation technology. Oh. <laughs> um, has that, that further developed? Have you been using it a lot on your vanadium and uranium properties? We, we've done testing on it, definitely. We've tested on the vanadium, and it works well for the vanadium. So that's, that's the other plus. The mm -hmm. technology is ready, ready to go as soon as the prices recover or justify production, which are getting closer all the time. And also, I was reading one of your recent news releases, and you, I know you partnered recently with an oil and gas company um, from, on one of your properties. Can you like share a little information about well, you know, this? You know, we're not in the oil and gas business, so you know, there is oil and gas possibilities for some of the properties. Mm -hmm. So since not, you know, that's not our specialty, uh, we basically did uh, enter into an arrangement with, with a company to develop the oil and gas on that property. And what was the inspiration behind that partnership? Well, obviously, you know, we don't want to expand out into a commodity that we don't really specialize in, and they do. So, again, to recognize values for the shareholder was best to turn the oil and gas interest, only the oil and gas interest on that property. There's still uranium vanadium on it, mm -hmm. but only the oil and gas interest would be basically developed by the experts in that area. Right on. And what do you think shareholders can expect to hear in the next coming quarters or the next few months of what's going on with Western Uranium? Well, you know, if, if the market continues to move in the direction that it's moved in the last week, I think there will be some announcements of when we plan to start production. You know, we need to reach a certain level of uranium and vanadium prices. Vanadium's already there. Mm -hmm. So now if we re reach a certain level of the uranium price, then you could expect maybe an announcement of our plan to start up our first facilities. Uh, that, that could be you know, announced in the next you know, quarter to the next six months. Perfect. Well, thank you, George, for joining us today. And for our Investor Intel audience, please feel free to comment below in the comment section uh, and let us know what you thought. Thank you.